Vegan. Cause the earth has shielded us thus far. Now we have to shield her. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nasite predavania predlagat mnogo ezici. Mole vishte suprememastertv.com na kone na chrta schedule. Among COVID-19 cases, participants who reported following a plant-based diet had a 73% lower chance of developing a moderate to severe COVID-19 illness compared with participants who did not follow this diet. Continue watching to find out more. Привитание, meaning hello in Belarusian expresses the friendly nature of the people of the Republic of Belarus. Elegant viewers, I am Alena. The harmonious Belarusians wish you a delightful day filled with bliss and peace. Welcome to today's program. Veganism a COVID-19 pandemic remedy and zoonotic disease shield part 2 of 2. In the last episode, we talked about the root cause of newly emerging zoonotic diseases. Due to animal livestock raising and the wildlife trade, cross-species transmission of viruses has become more frequent. Epidemics and pandemics are warning signs that urgent changes are needed in the way that we eat and live, but governments and communities globally have not taken steps to address our abuse and consumption of animals. The consequence is that new diseases will continue to rise and change their forms in a myriad of ways, which often will seem to be a step ahead of us. Evidence from COVID-19 tests in the US, the UK and Singapore shows that vaccinated persons who are infected by the Delta variant coronavirus can still carry as much virus in their nasal cavity as unvaccinated people do. This underlies the vulnerability and limits of vaccination and shows that preventive measures are still necessary because a proportion of vaccinated people can still pass on the Delta variant to others. In Houston, Texas, United States, a Houston Methodist hospital team has been gathering the scientific data of the breakthrough infection phenomenon by performing SARS-CoV-2 variant genome sequencing for nearly all their COVID-19 cases and archiving them in their system. The collected data so far has shown that approximately 17% of Delta cases had received COVID vaccinations since March 2021. The rate of Delta breakthrough infections is already about three times higher than other variants altogether.
viruses have a building mechanism that makes them more likely to have mutations when they spread between individuals. The more is being transmitted, the greater the chances new variants will form. In December 2020, Lambda was first identified in Peru as a variant of interest, or VOI, according to the World Health Organization, or WHO. Before the variants are labeled as variants of concern, they are called VOI, meaning that the occurred mutations might affect the virus's characteristics, such as transmissibility, disease severity, immune escape or diagnostic or therapeutic escape. The Lambda variant has now caught experts and the public's attention. It has become the dominant variant in South America and been seen in different parts of the world. Researchers found mutations within the spike protein of the Lambda variant. The RNA genome of the coronavirus is packaged into a helical nucleocapsid encapsulated in a bilayered lipid envelope. The envelope of coronaviruses is generally composed of three proteins, including the membrane protein or M, the envelope protein or E, and the spike protein or S, which gives the notable crown-shaped appearance. Because the S protein is responsible for latching to and fusing with the host cells, changes to this component could potentially mean a change in the transmissibility of the virus. The animal livestock raising industry confines animals in cages with limited space where they can barely turn around. The overcrowded environments filled with feces put the animals under great amounts of stress, thus weakening their immune systems and making them more susceptible to pathogens. The industrial-scale animal factories are like a ticking time bomb whereby pathogens are on the brink of making a leap to humans when the conditions become favorable to them. The animal livestock raising business needs to be ended if humans want to break the vicious cycle of diseases that repeatedly affect animals and humans. A recent paper in the BMJ Nutrition, Prevention and Health Journal published in 2021, studied the association of dietary patterns and the severity of COVID-19 illness. The study recruited a total of 2,884 frontline healthcare workers in six countries, including France, Germany, Italy, Spain, the UK and the USA. Among COVID-19 cases, participants who reported following a plant-based diet had a 73% lower chance of developing a moderate to severe COVID-19 illness compared with participants who did not follow this diet. Those who followed a low-carbohydrate, high-protein animal-based diet had three times greater odds of developing moderate to severe COVID-19 illness 
compared with those who adhered to a plant-based diet. Participants who followed a plant-based diet consumed more vegetables, legumes and nuts. These foods are abundant in nutrients such as phytochemicals, vitamins A, C and E and fiber. Scientists have found that antioxidant nutrients such as vitamin E, vitamin C, beta-carotene, selenium, copper, iron and zinc play an important role in maintaining immune function via the production of antibodies, proliferation of lymphocytes and the reduction of oxidative stress. This means that diets that are rich in antioxidants, like the vegan diet, are able to enhance one's resistance to bacteria and viruses, thus lowering the risk of respiratory illnesses such as the common cold, influenza and sinusitis. Despite scientific evidence showing that people who adhere to plant-based diets get more protection from developing moderate to severe COVID-19 symptoms, we must not forget to take preventive measures to protect ourselves. Things we should make a normal habit of when outside the house include maintaining at least a 3-meter distance between ourselves and others, wearing a hat, mask, gloves, goggles and face shield and avoiding the touching above the neck. Generally, we should wash our hands thoroughly with soap and water often. These practices will help give us more protection against any coronaviruses in our surroundings. God helps those who help themselves. So don't just rely on God or heaven alone. You have to take care of yourself also. God cannot eat for you, see? God cannot drive your car, see? God cannot wear the clothes for you. You have the physical body in the physical dimension. You have to take care in the physical world, in the physical way. We will pause a moment for a constructive message and then return. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegan, to avoid reincarnation on a burning planet. Welcome back to Veganism, a COVID-19 Pandemic Remedy and Zoonotic Disease Shield Part 2 of 2 on Supreme Master Television. Plant-based diets are exactly what we need. Protection against emerging zoonotic diseases is not possible as long as people still consume meat. Eating meat not only hurts and kills animals, but it also endangers human health. According to the WHO, ham, bacon, salami, and frankfurters and other processed meats are group 1 carcinogens. This means there is convincing evidence of them causing cancer, such as bowel and stomach cancer. By contrast, scientific evidence clearly demonstrates that plant-based diets help to reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including heart disease, cancer, obesity, hypertension, and type 2 diabetes. The COVID-19 pandemic has also led some people to speculate about the connection between viruses and meat diets. Living through a pandemic has created striking changes in our shopping habits, jobs, childcare, and many other aspects of life. Mother Nature has already warned us about humanity's habit of eating meat and dairy products. Meat diets put our health at stake and occupy a great portion of financial resources, which could have been allocated for positive development in the world. The simplest solution to eliminate the source of transmission is the global adoption of the vegan lifestyle to prevent future epidemics. If people don't switch to the compassionate and healthy vegan diet, 
COVID-19 will just be a rehearsal of more things to come. Fortunately, there is an increasing trend of consuming plant-based foods that has been seen during the pandemic. According to the market intelligence agency Minto, the pandemic has encouraged more UK consumers to explore plant-based diets. About a quarter of young British millennials between the age of 21 to 30 said that a plant-based diet filled with healthy whole foods like chickpeas, lentils and quinoa has become more preferable during the pandemic. These millennials are not alone. Market research also shows that the percentage of people in the UK who find a vegan diet attractive since the pandemic began is 12% overall and 22% in London. In addition, data from the market research firm shows a boost in plant-based food sales since the pandemic started and the trend continues. Experts expect to see continuing growth in the vegan food market after the pandemic ends. Since the start of the pandemic, people have changed their mindsets and become more willing to adjust their lifestyles. We can all make a little change to our lifestyles to save countless lives and make the planet safer and more beautiful for our future generations. The change can happen now, and it starts with you. Pray in silence. We must meditate. Okay. For the world to go vegan. World vegan will breed lasting world peace. Will breed benevolent energy for all beings, including humans. And then they won't get such sickness again. Even if they have to go through this sickness now, they turn vegan in the future. We don't have any more pandemic or epidemic anymore. Yes. Because our world have forever pandemics and epidemics. Because we continue to kill. If they are vegan right now, except the small or some inevitable consequences of the past karmic deeds that they have to endure this lifetime, we don't have any more pandemic, we don't have any more sicknesses. We will have forever peace between nations. Wow. Everyone will be happy, have everything to eat. All the harvest will be plentiful again. And we'll be friends with the animals. Yeah. Animals will have peace also. Yeah. All beings will have peace. By giving up eating meat, we can break the vicious cycle and stop the demand for animal livestock raising. The little change you make does mean a tremendous difference to our planet and all the animal co-inhabitants. Thank you, brilliant viewers, for your company today for our program. Up next is Vengeance Never Brings Peace, part 4 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May the Providence guide and protect you always. Vegan Side Effect Don't recognize yourself in the mirror? Yeah. Who is that handsome guy? Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.